In this little clip, we're going to be looking at loci, or as they're sometimes pronounced, loci. It is the plural of the Latin word locus, which means a place or a region. And the word in maths is used to describe points or areas of maps and diagrams which follow certain rules. Much the easiest way is to look at some examples. If we want to find the locus of all points which are exactly five, minute, meet, five meters from the point P, well, there's one point here, which is five meters from P, but it's certainly not all of them. In fact, all of them is a circle which has a radius of five meters. So that line, the circle, is the locus of all points which are exactly five meters from P. All the points on the circle obey the rule that they are five meters from P. It's worthwhile, I think, at this point, looking at what the definition of a circle is. A circle is the locus, there's that word again, the locus of all points which are a fixed distance, the radius, from a fixed point, the centre. So, let's look at that example slightly differently. What's the locus of all points which are less than five, minute, five metres from point P? Well, that's easy. We just fill in the circle, and that whole green region is less than five metres from point P. And so that is the locus of all the points which are less than five metres from P. The third example. This is more complicated. The locus of all points which are within two metres of the line AB. Well, if it was within two metres of the point A, then we'd uh, be able to do that just by drawing a two metre two metre radius circle at point A. And we do the same thing at point B. But what about the rest of the line AB? Well, if we join up the tops of the circles and the bottoms of the circles, then we have the region that we want, or the locus that we want. Because now the entire green region, uh, every point in that region is within two metres of the line. At the ends, it's a half circle or a semicircle. But along the line, it's just two parallel straight lines. Everywhere in the green region is exactly, well, sorry, is within two meters of the line AB. By the way, when you're doing things like this, don't rub out the construction lines. Don't rub out these circles or any other lines you've drawn to, to help you with your uh, drawing. Um, the examiner would want to see that in an exam. Here's another one. The locus of all points inside the rectangle, which are closer to A here, than they are to C here. Well, you should know the technique called drawing a perpendicular bisector, because that gives you a line which is exactly the same distance from two points. So let's draw a perpendicular bisector of the points A and C. First of all, we draw a large arc at A, and then without changing the opening on the compass, draw a similar one from C, uh, such that the, over the two uh, arcs overlap in two places. Now when we join the two overlapping points, uh, we'll have what we call our perpendicular bisector. And everywhere along that, great, that straight grey line is the same distance from C as it is from A. So if we want the points which are closer to A than C, we have to shade that region. It's inside the rectangle, and every point in the green region is closer to A than to C. Once again, don't rub out the construction lines. Now, a fifth one. The locus of all points inside the triangle, which are closer to the line AB than to the line AC. Now, to get uh, regions which are closer to the line AB than to the line AC, we have to think about where the halfway point is. What What's the locus of points which is exactly the same distance from AB and AC? And that's what we call an angle bisector. If the angle here is cut in half, then we've got a symmetrical situation where every uh, point along the line is the same distance from AB as it is from AC. So we have to draw 
an angle bisector and this is a technique you should know as well. First of all we draw an arc from A cutting both AB and AC and then from those two points from this point we draw an arc here and from this point we draw an arc here. It's important that those last two arcs are drawn without changing the opening on the compass. Now when we join A to the intersection point here we have an angle bisector. Those two angles are the same and every point on this grey line is the same distance from the line AB as it is from AC. But that's not quite the question. We want the, the points which are closer to the line AB than to the line AC so once again we have to shade a particular region. It says that we want the points inside the triangle which are closer to the line AB and that's this green region. Every point in the green region obeys this rule that it's inside the triangle and it's closer to the line AB than it is to the line AC.